Beautiful day, beautiful weather, good company. What more can you ask for, right? Not much. Not much. made it around first portage around Stony Rapids and it's a beautiful little rapid I'm actually <laughs> I'm kind of tempted at, I'd run back down it it looks like it's a nice little run but uh, anyways a little few gear issues and you know working out the bugs and you know test and adjust so we're getting things figured out we're gonna wait up this uh, little set here this little swift and then uh, after that, it's flat water for the majority of the day. Yeah. But it feels so great to be back out here again. I mean, how can you go wrong? It's absolutely beautiful. It's a gorgeous day. Beautiful weather. Nice and warm. It's got to be, you know, pushing high 20s today for sure. But it's absolutely stunning out here.
suburb. Cleaned out the balls. Everything's good in the world, right buddy? Everything's good in the world. Yes sir. Well, we made it into Cedar Rapids. And it's like a gorgeous evening. trash here but I guess that's kind of to be expected when this many people come to the river and this easy access. So we're just getting ready to make supper so yeah it's been a good day. How far did we go? About 22 clicks. 22 eh? 22, 25. Something like that. 22 is the crow fly so probably more than 30. <laughs> Chili mac and cheese for first night here on the Red River. It's been a good day. Didn't realize I could paddle that distance in such a short time. Just all by yourself? All by myself. It was a good trip. It's been a great trip. Oh, we're 
We're not even 12 hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll add this to the blooper reel when I sit down on this Helinox chair and it explodes. I've looked at these before. You've been on the website? Um, I think so, yeah. Oh, you didn't hear that. I just need a few minutes to do that. Oh, yeah, burn out the faces. My forehead always burns. Sunglasses tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Not bad. It's that hat covers a lot. Uh, yeah. Well, I think it's a lot of reflection. A lot of I had my hat off for a while. Too hot. You already had your meal? No, it's in the cozy.
smoking hot already. Beautiful morning. Gorgeous. We got up probably a little before seven. Woke up. That's an eagle for sure. surfing on all morning has now turned into a miserable headwind. Yeah, it's got to be whipping along here at 40 to 50k the gusts and blowing steady at 25, 30. So, we're, uh, we tried making a little headway and it's not working very well. <laughs> so, we're, yeah. so, for now, we're uh, going to wait things out. Cooper, having a nap. What do you think? Good to go. Yeah, it's been a.
gorgeous day so far, but you know, what do you do? I don't know what we can do right now. I mean, maybe if we were tandem in the canoe, we might be able to fight through it a little easier, but even that is uh, pretty tough right now. We saw some other guys that were planning to go down river, and I think they're going to turn back and they might stay up either at this side or head up river a little bit. But we're going to wait for a little while and take a break and cool off. this doesn't let up till this evening, we may just spend the night here and try and get out of here real early in the morning. We're getting lots of sun. It's been hot, all sun burned up, but it's it's awesome out here. Unfortunately, we've come to a few campsites today where lots of trash left behind. I guess that comes with easy access and large amounts of people. A lot of the north side of the river isn't the park, so people tend to come in in motorboats and bring a lot of crap with them, literally. But what are you going to do? Try to clean some of it up as best we could. It's just unfortunate. So, you know, if you're out here, do us all a favor. Pack in what you bring, pack out what you bring in, and uh, don't leave all your crap for the rest of us. Thanks. So, that's my uh, PSA for today. Anyway, Rob's trying to bring his, his canoe around here into this little sheltered bay. As you can see, Pretty windy. Loving it though, having a great time. Beautiful country, good, good company. Nothing to complain about. A little of a sun today. You? Nah, I'm pretty sure I got a little sun today too. <laughs> Your forehead. Even though you had a hat on, your forehead's pretty red. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> but we decided to stay here tonight. Uh, what was this called again? That's rapid? Did we ever figure that out? Little pine. Anyway. Little pine? Something like that? Anyway, right at the top of the island as the river, uh, the main channel heads down the south side. So the wind was howling until uh, after five o'clock and we decided we'd just hang out up here for the night, make a night of it and uh, no point in fighting our way down the river. We'll try and get an early start tomorrow and make up a little more ground.
You need some sticks to roast them? I got one. We gotta find another one. You got one? I got one. This is the, that, uh, what's your name? Uh, the runner of the cyclist, uh, Rose, 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 Chris Rose. Is that their names? Those two girls? Chris Price, yeah, it's the girl. Yeah, this is their. Oh. Amy saw that and she's like, I gotta try that. Cooper, no. And then she was like, oh, we are doing that for sure. Alright, marshmallow me. I think she gave us two per night or something. Jeez, yeah. what the hell's on your hands? It's, uh, it's from the stove. You don't get that on your stove. Two bite with the peanut butter. Two bite with the peanut butter. So, it's where I first saw it. Thank you, Chris Prose. This was your idea. If it wasn't, it's now your idea. <laughs> oh, and we're supposed to say thank you as well to uh, to Lila and to Elliot and to Amy. As well, without them, we wouldn't have. We wouldn't be eating this. <laughs> you got <laughs> soot all over your head. Yeah. <laughs> They're getting it off, it's a problem. Oh, that's deadly. <laughs> Any last words, Rob? Yeah, there's, uh, they're calling for rain. We left, uh, I guess we saw it, what, Thursday night we saw the weather, and so they're calling for rain. See what happens. be nice if we can pack up dry in the morning, but whether we can or we can't, whichever. We'll see how it goes. Right? It's been a gorgeous day, and uh, dusk is coming on. I'm thinking maybe a swim's in order. Go cool off a little before bed. Now it's time to to rack out and uh, probably play some cards and call her a day. Try and get up early before the wind picks up and get back on the river again. We'll see how that goes. Weather dependent, right? So we'll see you uh, in the morning.
Oh, good morning. Two mosquitoes out today. It's uh, around 5.30 or so. And I just crawled out. There's no wind yet. Well, very little. A little breeze blowing. But not like yesterday. So we're going to uh, try and get packed up. Grab a quick bite. And uh, mosquitoes. Try and uh, make a little distance before the rain catches up with us or the wind. Whichever comes first. A little sunburnt from yesterday. But uh, had a good night. Really restful sleep. And uh, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful morning. Excited to get down and do a little white water today. See how water levels are. so far.
trick, like I went through with this, no problem. Oh, yeah. So there's Devil Shoot and then Little Parsons. Little Parsons, I'm going to guess, is going to be like Swift. That's what it was last year, even in low water. And if there's anything in there, like, I think it's going to be like that one round that I had to wait last year. for a little breakfast. Rob's got the uh, whatever stove this is fired up. To make some quick breakfast up here. Yes I said. Get myself out of the shadow here. Some hot water will make a little oatmeal. But we were just saying it's hard to find a bad spot to stop and eat out here. Okay, come on. It's really windy. It's really windy. <laughs> it 
fighting the wind through Crooked Chute and uh, pulled up on some rocks to try and think of a plan or come up with some idea of what we're going to do here. We can't afford to wait out the wind for too long. Because Rob's one of those people who uh, has to get back to work. And, well, parking lot's not getting any closer. I'll figure out what to do. What do you think, Coop? Hey? What do you think? Hey? Go on. Oh boy. Yeah, it's a little calmer on this side right now.
Well, we've decided to stay here for the night. We're, we did really well today. We did actually really great. Pushed through a lot of wind, which I'm sure you can hear. It's blowing right now. It's still pretty windy out. Cooper, here. Good boy. Rob's off to test out the Thunderbox, and I'll tell you, it's the nicest one I've ever used. It still smells like cedar, believe it or not. Anyway, we're going to get camp set up. We tried a little fish. And no luck, but we'll try again a little later on. We fought headwinds the entire day today, so we're hoping that uh, things will you know, relax a little bit overnight, the wind will die down, and we get up in the morning bright and early and make a push out of here without having to fight our way all the way home. So, we're loving it though. It's so good to be back out here, and Rob and I have been doing this tripping and camping together for, we figured out it was 25 years we've been doing this together since high school. So it's good to get back out again. And yeah, we're loving every minute of it. It's beautiful up here. Beautiful. Oh, here's camp. I think it's a relatively new campsite. So we're going to Get the tent set up up here. Rob's back from due diligence there. We're going to set up here and it's a lot hotter up here in the trees. Rob's got a little gear bomb going on and Cooper's chasing skeeters. So this is camp for the night. And a nice lake view.
bathroom go? Did I have more? Yeah. Oh crap. You'll be down there. Oh, I didn't even know. I didn't even think. I just thought of it just to dive my like clear. It's a beautiful morning. Rained all night. Everything's a little damp, but nice, calm, not no breath, not even a breath of wind. And Cooper's down for a drink straight to the lake. So, time to get packed up and uh, make the most of this quiet weather. See, we'll head for home today. Four or five hours maybe of paddling and we should be out of here. Rob's just doing a final sweep of the camp there, making sure we didn't leave anything behind. But we're all loaded up and ready to go. Start paddling and we'll have a little cold breakfast on the water. How's a good campsite? With its pristine thunderbox, brand new. And uh, yeah, we had a great night here. The wind's just starting to ripple the water just a hair. So hopefully we uh, make some miles before uh, before the wind picks up. Alrighty, time to paddle. Like, uh, there's so much area for the wind to blow through. Yeah. West wind.
a little <clears throat> lunch break or breakfast break. A few little snacks. An hour into the wind again. It's just after eight. You might be able to hear me over top of the wind. Due west again. A couple hours more, we'll be back. Glad we got a good start this morning. This is the calmest water we've had the whole trip. Yes. Just coming through Canoe Pass. It's beautiful. It's not quite glassy, but it's the flattest water we've had the whole time and the least amount of wind. Almost back to Loon's Landing now, and uh, we've had this beautiful little section in Canoe Pass to paddle through. Nicest, calmest water we've had the whole time. But I think we're going to wrap things up there, and we'll just finish this little paddle in. A couple more kilometers, and uh, it's time to go find some poutine and a beer, I think. Hey? Sounds good. Any last words? Uh, good trip, good weather, good company. Good times. Yeah. Right on. That's it. And a good time was had by all. Right? We're good to go. Thanks for coming along.